Ra ra ra. Another day in the motherland. About to share our story. It's time for us to tell the story the real way it needs to be told. It's time for us to re narrate our narratives. <laughs> Nani, 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 Nani of the Maru. When she ran away, Nani of the Maru. When she ran away, Nani of the Maru. When she ran away, Nani of the Maru. When she ran away. Right, we're about to talk about a very powerful woman, Nani of the Maroon. Born in the Ashanti Kingdom, Ghana, where I'm from, I'm an Ashanti. When she landed in Jamaica, the British had just taken over from the Spanish and became the new colonial ru rulers. And within that period, she managed to free herself and many other enslaved Africans due to her strategic warrior skills. They created their own community and became the Maroons. So the Maroons were enslaved Africans mostly taken from West Africa to the specific Ghana to the Caribbean where they escaped into the hills of Jamaica. Remember, they didn't take slaves from Africa. They took talented Africans. They took surgeons, engineers, physicians, musicians and enslaved them. They didn't take slaves as we were traditionally taught. Now these maroons fled to the mountainous areas of Jamaica where it was so difficult for the British to try and follow and capture them. So they formed their own independent community as free men and free women. As more and more enslaved Africans escaped, their population grew. The British were not happy. They declared war on the maroons. But this war was led by Kujo, a guy named Kujo, who's from Ghana. If you're Kujo in Ghana, you're more likely born on Monday. And of course, led by also legendary Nanny of the Maroon from the Ashanti Kingdom. Guess what? The Maroons won. They defeated them so badly that the British had to sign a peace treaty between the Maroons and the British. To this day, the Maroons is, are still active and kicking in Jamaica right now. So as I'm talking right now, we have, we have other Ghanaians in Jamaica called the Maroons. But it's very important that we still continue to establish the connection between us, the Ghanaians over here, and the Maroons who are originally Ghanaian. And that's the reason why this is so important. Nani, Nani. Nani, Nani, Nani of the Maru took over when she ran away. Nani of the Maru took over when she ran away. Guess what? They actually speak to you. They actually Ooh. speak to you. Because I went there last I went there last year and I saw where Nani of the Maru was buried. I went wow. to Motown. So the community still exists. Wow. There's words that we say here in Ghana that they still say. In, in, in Jamaica. Wow. So they say Nyankimpon for God. We say Nyankopon. Oh, yeah. yeah. They say they say a bang for a bang. Yeah, a bang. We say a bang as well. It's for horn. Yeah. And the leader of their community, they call they call him or her an asofu. Oh, and we say a asofu for pasta. Ah. Yeah, for pasta in Ghana. And when I went there last year, how did they welcome me? They said Aquaba. Oh, Aquaba, Aquaba, Aquaba. <laughs> Nani, 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 Nani of the Maru took over when she ran away. Nani of the Maru took over. Everyone, when she ran away.